Hello, everyone, and welcome to another 3-Minute Thursday. My name is Warren McRae, and I'm a Technical Solutions Consultant with TPM. Today, we're going to discuss grid system skeleton modeling. Here we have a couple parts that was done using weldment technology. Notice that they're in two different locations, and they're two separate designs. The first step is to create a master layout sketch. In this case, it's 50 by 20 feet divided up into unique sections. Several designers can use this sketch to create their individual sections. The key is to insert the master sketch into a part file. Once the master sketch is inserted into the part file, it can be used as a reference and the new sketch can be related to the master sketch, tying the two together. Now I can create a subgrid section as shown here. The key is to use relationships to link the two sketches together. Now that one section is complete, I will start an additional section. This time, the design will have less members and I will incorporate sheet metal technology to this section. In order to use these sketches with weldment technology, one of them must be hidden. In this example, I will hide the master sketch. Now that my sketches are complete, I can add my weldment members. SolidWorks Weldment Technology has a wide variety of profiles that meet standards used all around the world. The beauty of this technology is each profile comes with points that you can attach your sketch to, giving you the added flexibility to modify the profile's location fast and easy. You can choose corner treatment options, adjust the trim order, and you're done. It's just that simple. I will repeat this process for the second section, then I will add additional cross members. I will then switch my profile type and add square tubing cross member support. For these members, I will use a miter cut. Then I will pattern one member instead of following the existing sketch pattern. Once completed, if desired, I can move or relocate members with the move slash copy body command. Now that my first section is complete, I will finish my second section by adding a sheet metal part directly into the same weldment part file and attach it to the same sketch. This will enable the size of the weldments and the sheet metal part to change in size when the master layout sketch is modified, enabling me to drive the size of both sections as well as other team members' sections with one master sketch layout. Let's recap. We were able to create one master grid layout sketch and create additional sketches attached to it. Model weldment members and sheet metal parts all driven by the original grid layout sketch. Thank you for watching another 3 Minute Thursday.